Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Sunday, March 28th, 2021. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in your Goal Zero Yeti 400 solar generator power source. I've had this Goal Zero Yeti 400 now for, I believe it's over five years, maybe six years. The battery looked like it was going a little bonkers on me, so I decided to purchase uh, this one from Amazon for 74 bucks. I'll put the link in the description box for you guys. Uh, it is right here. It's the Expert Power. I believe it's the same size and rating, 33 amp hour battery, 12 volt, as the one that's in the existing Goal Zero. So that's in there now. So the tools that you'll need is an Allen, you know, a set of Allen keys. So you'll you'll loosen the four screws up here, which I uh, did prior to starting the camera. So I had them out so I could show you. Once you get them loosened, you could just pick up the lid and it'll come off. And now you have the access to the battery. I think you guys could see that. You've got negative, positive, then there's a strap across here that you'll need an Allen key also to loosen. And then the, the screws in the top of the battery of the Goal Zero, you'll need to loosen those to get the terminals off. And then you'll pull out this old battery, replace it with the new one, and put the parts back together again, just like they are here. So why don't we do that? Let's loosen these up, pull this battery out, and uh, we'll get the new battery in, make sure it fits, of course, and we'll show you putting this back together, and then we'll, we'll power it up and see where the battery is on the uh, charge scale. Okay, I went ahead and pulled out. I took the strap off, unscrewed the Allen keys, and again, all the nuts, even the ones for the strap, uh, were the same size Allen key. So once you fit it with your Allen key, you need this is the only tool you'll need to do this job and then this is the old battery right here that came with the goal zero yeti 400 so i'll put that aside and we'll talk about that at another date and and so the battery that i purchased the expert power battery came with these screws and washers again i'll save these and i could use them if i want to save this goal zero battery and see if I could salvage it for running a string of lights or something like that. I may do that, okay? But I wanted to get the brand new battery in this unit here to get this unit up to par because I have another uh, power supply coming in on Tuesday that I'm upgrading my van system with. But I still want this for backup and for other things. And then I also have a Goal Zero Yeti 150 that a few months ago I also changed the battery in it. That's in my bedroom, it stays by the bed, and I run some items off that to charge my phone. I run a small LED light, I'll show you that uh, in another video. But let's get this back together and um, power it up and see how it goes. So we'll just go in reverse, we'll put the bar back on, put the three negatives and the three positives back on, screw it down, make sure it's all sitting in right, and then we'll put the lid on. All right, I just thought I'd bring you guys in a little closer. So the new battery's in. I put the bar across here. You just push the <clears throat> little plastic handle down. I'll tighten these up here. This is like the tie-down strap, I guess. So we'll get that snug. Then we already replaced our battery terminals, positive to positive, negative to negative. There were three, three each on here. We'll screw these screws down, these little screws that came with the, bat, with the battery, with the Goal Zero battery. So you won't need the, the ones that came with the battery, but I save everything again. You never know when you need parts and replacements. So this is pretty much snugged in there. We could actually uh, activate it now and just see what, um, what kind of charge this battery has. So the battery showing that it's at full charge. OK, 
okay no input it shows that it's full so it came delivered full fully charged 12 volts working DC USB AC I love this goal 0400 uh, used it for years um, just a workhorse but I wanted to upgrade the battery just get a new battery in there to make sure all my power needs are are ready to go never know what's coming your way uh, so let's get the uh, lid back on so we'll get the lid back on shut this off while we do that so this basically seats right back in again you can see here let's go around and tighten these evenly It's always one that gives you trouble. There it goes. Okay. So let's come back, set this up, and um, see how it how it works. All right, guys, we're back um, in the shack here. Normally in the shack, the goal zero used to be on top of the cabinet here. I pulled it down here where the 150 used to be, brought the 150 into my bedroom, uh, this one is now sitting up here on this little shelf above the ham radio gear, right below the uh, TV. I have a TV up here. Um, and so I can uh, put the Goal Zero 8 millimeter power port that I have plugged in. I could put that in and keep this battery topped off at all times. Um, and I also have a LED light above me here in case the power went out. This runs off DC. So if I shut the light here and we lost power, right now the only light is the ring light I have on. Um, and I turn this on, you may see the light. And the overhead Gold Zero LED light pops on that runs off of this. So if the power did go out, I could come in here and operate with the uh, battery backup. So, so this is telling me there's the watts going into the unit it's charging the battery seems to be working uh, I also keep this little night light so when I leave the shack and shut all the lights off this will pop on right here I think it pulls like five five watts let's see okay seven eight watts whatever it is so when the lights go out in the shack, this pops on. And so when I walk in, it's got a little glow and a little light right here. These are great. I have them inside the house, spread out around the hallways and different areas. <clears throat> and they go on when the lights go off. So very good. I think they come in a six pack. I'll put the link to those in the description box. But that stays like this. So what, I, what else I want to do with the Gold Zero battery this week, uh, actually, actually I'll do it today in another video, we're going to see how it runs the Dometic refrigerator in my van. Uh, I just want to make sure that um, it can run the refrigerator, see for how long as a backup. But the new power source that I'm getting, the new solar generator, is going to have a lot more power. It's got a lithium-ion battery, and it's going to be able to run the Dometic CFX40 refrigerator in the van for, uh, I would say, upwards of three to five days straight without needing a recharge. So that's going to be a game changer for me to be able to uh, stay out in the field a lot longer. So that was the video today on changing this battery in the Goal Zero. This is an expert power 12 volt, 33 amp hour battery replacement for the one that came with the unit. Okay, this is the one that came with it. And I'll still use this for some things. And uh, that's the video today. That bat the replacement battery was 74 bucks on Amazon. It came in a few days. 
and I'll do a, I'll put a link in the description box for you guys so you can uh, see that. So questions, comments, let me know. Thanks for watching. Anthony signing off.